Today's lesson is over polynomial long division, and it's just a way to divide a polynomial by another polynomial of a lesser degree. So first I wanna take you back to just basic long division, where we put our dividend here and our divisor right here. Okay, how many times does eight go into 346? So sometimes that can be a little confusing to some students how I word that, but what you do is you start with, okay, it eight cannot go into three, it can go into 34. So up here, how many times? Four times, four times eight is 32. And then what do I do? I subtract. So 34 minus 32, I have what's left over and then I bring down the next number. And then eight goes into 26, how many times? Three times, three times eight, and it would be three times, right? Because three times eight is 24. Four would be greater than 26. Four times eight would be 32. So then three times eight is 24. And I put that right here and then I subtract. And then if I have a remainder, some of you might remember, add the decimal, bring it up, take the zero, bring it down. But we're not, we wouldn't do it that way. We'd only do it that way if we um, were dividing and we wanted a decimal as an answer. Um, or as our quotient, right, our answer to our division problem. But you can always just write your answer as a mixed number. So 43 and remainder over divisor 2 over 8, which simplifies to 1 over 4. So 43 and a fourth would be my answer. Polynomial long division is the same. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I put my dividend right here and my divisor right here. So 2x squared plus 9x plus 4 divided by x plus 4. I look at this first term right here, x. How many times does it go into 2x squared? Or what would I need to multiply x by to get 2x squared? Would it have to be a 2 and then another x? So I write that right here. 2x times this entire divisor. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 4 is positive 8x. And then I subtract, just like I did with the um, numbers, right, the arithmetic. So when I subtract, when I sub I'm subtracting polynomials, make sure you distribute that negative into every single sign inside the parentheses. So, right, so this would be minus 2x squared minus 8x. That cancels right here. 9x minus 8x is x and then I bring this four down. Then I think, what do I need to multiply x by to get x, this first one right here? One. One times x is x. One times four is four. And so what I'm gonna do, and I write that right here, four is four, and then I subtract because that's what I do with long division, but what you wanna make sure that you do is distribute that negative into each terms. So minus x, x minus x, and then 4 minus 4, and I have 0 as a remainder. So just like you would in the um, arithmetic long division, arithmetic long division, if you had in your polynomial long, di long division, if you had a remainder right there, you would put it over your divisor. So if you have a remainder, you put your remainder over your divisor if you have one, and you will not in any of the examples today. So your answer is just up here. There's your quotient, your answer to your division problem, 2x plus 1. So let's actually practice this. There's your examples, and I wrote all over that. But in example number one, we have x squared minus 5x minus 24, and that is our dividend. So we're going to put it right here, x squared minus 5x minus 24, x plus 3 is our divisor, right? So this polynomial divided by this polynomial of a lesser degree. So what we're going to do is, and I'm going to change colors here. I'm going to be switching colors. x, this first one right here, first term, how many times does it go into x squared? Or what do I need to multiply it by, I should say, to get x squared? I need to multiply it by x. So I multiply this entire divisor by that x times x is x, x times 3 is positive 
3x. And then with long division, what do we do? We subtract, but we want to make sure that we distribute that negative into every term in that set of parentheses. So this becomes, wait, and actually this should have been a squared, x squared. So now I get x squared minus x squared. That cancels. Negative 5x, this should be minus 3x is negative 8x. And then I bring down the negative 24 or minus 24, and then I'm starting there. What do I need to multiply x by to get negative 8x? I need to multiply it by negative 8. Negative 8 times x is negative 8x. Negative 8 times 3 is negative 24. So essentially you're wanting to get like the same thing, right? I want it to look the same, or at least with this first term, this negative 8x. And then now I subtract, but when I'm subtracting polynomials, what happens? I distribute that negative into each term inside the parentheses, and that becomes positive 8x, positive 24, right? So those cancel, those cancel. I have zero as a remainder. So let's make a little note here. Don't forget to distribute the negative or the minus, right? Right? Don't forget to distribute that into every term. So my answer is up there at the top. There's my quotient. My answer is x minus 8. So how could you check your work? x minus 8 times x plus 3 will equal x squared minus 5x minus 24. Okay, so that's how you could check your work. So let's go on to our next example. Our next example is 2x squared plus 7x minus 30 divided by x plus 6. So let's put our dividend in here, 2x squared plus 7x minus 30, and then our divisor out here, x plus 6. And so what we want to do is, what do I need to multiply x by to get 2x squared? I need to multiply it by 2x. So then I multiply that 2x by this entire divisor. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 6 is positive 12x. And then now I'm going to subtract because that's what we do with polynomial long division. We subtract. And I put those parentheses there to make sure that you distribute this negative. So that becomes negative 2x squared minus 12x. Those cancel. 7x minus 12x is negative 5x. And then I'm going to bring down this minus 30. Now, moving on, what do I need to multiply x by to get negative 5x? I need to multiply it by negative 5. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times 6 is negative 30. And now I'm going to subtract. That's what I do with polynomial long division. When I subtract, these cancel and these will cancel and I will have zero as my remainder. Again, if you have a remainder down here, put it over your divisor, okay, as like a fraction, right? So, you, But we don't have a remainder right there, so we don't need to. Our answer is 2x minus 5. How can you check your work? 2x minus 5 times x plus 6 will equal 2x squared plus 7x minus 30. Let's go on to the next one. In the next one, I've got 3x cubed minus 8x squared minus 25x plus 36. Okay, that's our very long, or it's our, you know, a polynomial of a higher degree. That's cubic. And we are dividing it by this linear binomial, x minus 4. So 3x cubed minus 8x squared minus 25x plus 36. And I'm dividing it by x minus 4. So let's just walk through this. What do I need to multiply x by to get 3x cubed? I need to multiply it by 3x squared. 3x squared times x, or I'm sorry, yeah, it's 3x cubed, sorry. Got all mixed up. 3x squared times negative 4 is negative 12x squared. And what do I do with long division? I subtract. Need to make sure we distribute that negative into each term inside the parentheses so they change signs. 
3x cubed minus 3x cubed, those cancel. Negative 8x squared plus 12x squared is 4x squared, and then I'll bring down minus 25x. Moving on, what do I need to multiply x by to get 4x squared? Positive 4x, right? Positive 4x becomes plus 4x. So 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times negative 4 is negative 16x. With polynomial long division, we're going to subtract. Make sure we distribute that negative into each term inside the parentheses. That becomes negative 4x squared plus 16x. 4x squared minus 4x squared cancels. Negative 25x plus 16x is negative 9x. And then I bring down this last term, plus 36. We're going to do the same step. What do I need to multiply x by to get negative 9x? Negative 9. Negative 9 times x is negative 9x. Negative 9 times negative 4 is positive 36. I'm going to subtract. Make sure we distribute that negative, and those cancel. I have 0 as a remainder. My quotient is 3x squared plus 4x minus 9. And that's my answer. And how can you check your work? 3x squared plus 4x minus 9 times x minus 4 will give you 3x cubed minus 8x squared minus 25x plus 36. Let's move on to our last example. This is a geometry application. And it says, the area of the rectangle below is 18x to the fifth plus 12x to the fourth minus 15x minus 10. What is the width if the length is 3x plus 2? So we know that the area equals this right here and the length equals this right here. And I know that the area of a rectangle is length times width or base times height, right? So if I'm given the area and I'm given the width, I know that I could do area divided by length, and I'll write it as capital letter, equals the width, which means 18x to the fifth plus 12x to the fourth plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared minus 15x minus 10. You see what I did there? I went down and I added in zeros for, I went down every single term, right? So 18x to the fifth plus 12x to the fourth. And then notice I don't have any term that is multiplied by x cubed or multiplied by x squared, but I put a zero in that place. And I'll show you why we do that. Divided by 3x plus 2. So I'm going to walk through this one very quickly and I'm going to show you why we did that. 3x times what equals 18 x to the fifth, six x to the fourth, right? Three times six is 18, x times x to the fourth is x to the fifth. So let's multiply it by this entire divisor. Six x to the fourth times three x is 18 x to the fifth, and then six x to the fourth times two is positive 12 x to the fourth. So when we subtract, which we're just doing the same steps, when we subtract, we actually get zero. And then I am not, I, 3x times what gives me whoop, 0 uh, plus 0x cubed plus 0x cubed, right? Bring down this one, and I'm just going to do it right here, plus 0x squared plus 0x squared, okay? If I multiply, bring this one down, minus 15x. Right here, I'm going to bring down these last two. Negative 15x, sorry, minus 10. Uh, I'm going to change colors here. Let's do this. Mm, I've already used that one. I've already used that one. Let's do this one. Okay. So at this point, we are not multiplying by 0x. Okay. But 3x times what gives me negative 15x? 3x times negative Five. Negative 5 times 3x is negative 15x. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And then I'm going to distribute this minus sign. 
those cancel, those cancel. I have zero as my remainder, and my quotient is 6x to the fourth minus 5. And that's my answer, 6x six, six to the fourth minus 5. So we're going to put placeholders there for as we walk down, like, you know, our, the degree or the exponent goes down one every time, right? So I'm just got like little placeholders here, okay? And I'm saying, okay, I'm not multiplying anything. 3x times what gives me zero x cubed? 3x times zero, right? X cubed um, or x squared. Um, so I, we're just going to make sure that, um, you know, there's nothing that we're going to have a term that's x squared. We're not going to have a term that or x cubed or x squared or x, we just have a constant here. So 6x to the fourth minus 5, how can we check our work? That binomial times 3x plus 2 will give us 18x to the fifth plus 12x to the fourth minus 15x minus 10. So put your placeholders there um, whenever you are, whenever you don't have, you have a big jump in your exponents basically. And that concludes your notes over polynomial long division. I hope it was helpful.